And we're rolling. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Robert Gephardt. And uh, for today, I would like to keep it brief because last time was pretty long. And also, as you can see from the glare on my face, it's a nice day outside. But before I go outside, I wanted to discuss invoicing, which is something that's important, I think, for everyone out there who's had a job because you probably had to issue an invoice. If you use Elance or Odesk, uh, then they have their own invoicing systems. Also, um, Pros also has its own invoicing system, but I don't know anyone who uses that regularly. So chances are you will have to issue an invoice. And in order to talk about it, I'm just going to go through one of my invoices so you can get an audio visual um, view of how it's done. I'll be posting images about of it. And, and then you can make your own mind up if you want to copy this or that or tweak this or that, um, however you wish to do. My invoices are on Excel. And then I make a PDF out of those. It's pretty easy. And uh, so I can just show you how I do it. Obviously, you can, you can use any spreadsheet uh, to do what I do on Excel, by the way. You don't need Excel. Or you can use any program you want. It's up to you. I'm just going to go through how I do it just so you can get an idea. First of all, at the top, you should always have an invoice number. It doesn't need to start with 001. If this is your first invoice and you think it looks weird, you can start it at 101 or however you want. This is just for you. So the invoice number is for you to keep track. So start with that. Second of all, you have today's date. The date of issue will be today's date. And uh, so that you just fill in every time, you know, with today's date. By the way, I issue my invoices as soon as possible. I have a set time once a week and I'm kind of lazy, so I will do it once a week. But as soon as possible, it's the best time to issue your invoice since payment is usually made based on the invoice. You have the date of issue, that's today's date. Then you have bill from, and that doesn't change. That's your information. So, you know, just put it there and that you can copy for all the invoices you have. The bill to info will be your client's information. So if you deal very often with the same client, you can copy and paste that as well. You can just have yeah name, email, website. If they want VAT or anything else they want, just put it up there. Then you, then you go down and it says for. The description here is taken from the name of the job. Here you'll use either their reference number to make their life easier or just the name of the file you have to translate or anything like that. Just so it's recognizable, you put that there. Then if your job is based on the number of words and a rate per word, then you can probably put that in there since it makes life easier. and so you have, as you can see, you have uh, the rate, the number of words, and then you have the total at the end. If you don't have a rate or number of words, just put the total at the end. Then what I do, since it's on Excel, I have that total and I rinse and repeat for each job. And at the bottom will be the total of everything. And what I do then is I replicate the total for each job in big, bright numbers in green right there, as you can see because you know you want to make sure that the client can see it you want to make sure that it's evident right away and you want well, my books just fell and you want to uh, make sure that you know that there's no confusion right you know so that number is right there they can't miss it good now then under all this part you will have uh, the due date here I uh, will generally write one of two things either payable upon receipt which basically means as soon as you receive it, you have to pay, or I write pay within seven days so that it gives a precise date. And I can say if today's date is the 10th, then it's due on the 7th, 17th. I mean, very often clients want something paid within 15 days or 30 days or something along those lines. If that's the case, then you write whatever you've agreed upon right there, obviously. And, uh, and the due date just to make it very clear for everyone, right? Um, now, under this, I put the PayPal information. If you agreed on a bank transfer, put your bank transfer information. If I haven't agreed on anything, I just put PayPal there because that's my preferred mode of payment. They can always say, oh, we don't do PayPal. We do something else and you can send the information. But just put your preferred mode of payment as an automatic thing there just, you know, so that they can pay you in your preferred manner. And after this, like my last line there, as you can see, will always say invoices more than 30 days overdue are subject to a 10% late fee. Now, you can make it more than seven days overdue, 15 days overdue. I guess I'm a nice guy. And most of the clients I work with now are okay. I've had some issues in the past. You can also, by the way, and I've seen this before, have an increasing late fee. So X percent every Y number of days, you know. So that means that if they're late by a week, they pay you. But if they're late by two weeks, they pay you more, right? Um, this just makes life complicated. Also, you know, 
who knows how enforceable it is at the end of the day. I find that just having that one late fee is enough incentive for them to pay me on time, which is what I want. Um, and then, uh, and that's pretty much it for the core of the invoice. You have everything you need right there. If they need anything extra written down, you can add it in the extra space. At least I added in the extra space right underneath. Um, but that's pretty much it. And then all you have left there is, um, is my last box. That's all I have left. And this I added later on. And it's more along the lines because A, nobody likes to receive an invoice. But nobody likes receiving a phone bill or anything like that. So nobody likes receiving an invoice. So it's just a way to personalize it, this last line. And so I've written various different things. In the example you have here, it just shows that um, I will, for every referral they give, I, I will offer a discount for the next job. Um, however, you know, I've had different things. You can put a quote there that changes for each invoice, you know, something inspirational. Or you can just put uh, something that's new about you, you know, if you'd like to put it there. Or you can just, you can also have other deals like receive a free hat or a free something with my company logo for every 10 jobs you do, you know, just anything you want. And you can change it up and switch it back and forth. This to me is like the, the creative section, the personalized section. That's pretty much it for the invoice. Now you have to, you know, now I have something on Excel. What I do is, is I can show you basically you, uh, you un under file, I think you can choose to save as a PDF and then it saves as a PDF then it looks something like this. Uh, and then you can just send that to the client and that's it. Anyway, hopefully that helped out. If you have any questions, obviously, you know, you can ask me in the comments. Um, and once again, if you subscribe, then you'll be receiving these as I make them. And hopefully, you know, this useful stuff for you freelance translators out there. Okay.